Chapter 5. Numbers from 11 to 20. Counting is so much fun, but I can't count beyond 10. To count more objects, we need to know more numbers. Let's learn the numbers from 11 to 20. Let's say we have 10 candies in a circle over here. Now, in this video, I'm going to use this circle to denote 10 because it's faster than drawing 10 candies each time. All right, so now we know that this circle over here, okay, stands for 10. So what is this circle, this circle over here, plus 1 equals 2? Okay, so the circle plus 1 equals 11. Okay, now let's try another one. What is this circle plus 2 equals? Now we know that the circle is 10, so our answer is 12. Now let's try another one. The circle plus 3. The circle is 10 plus 3 more 1s is 13. All right, let's go over here so we have more space. Okay, let's try circle, which is 10, plus four more ones equals, let me see if you can get this one, 14 is the answer. Okay, the next one, circle, okay, that's 10 candies plus five more candies equals 15. Now another circle plus 10 plus 6 more candies equals 16. And the next one, 10 plus 7 more candies. You're getting a lot of candies here. That's 17. Another circle, 10 plus 8 more candies equals 18. Simple so far, two more to go. Another circle, 10 plus 9 equals 19. Last one, 10 plus 10 equals 20, okay? Now we have learned more numbers which contain two digits. In a number, the position of each digit, for example, let me go here, the one and the three here, okay, has a value. It's called place value. For example, I have the number six. Okay, I'm gonna write six. Now this, it's a single digit number, okay, single digit. That is, it's just one number. So the place that it holds is called the ones place, right? The ones place. To understand that better, let's try a two digit number like 27. 27 can also be written as 20 plus seven. It can further be simplified as two tens, just like the circles we talked about, like two circles, and seven ones. So two is at the tens place. And here the seven is at the ones. Let me give you another example, 18. As we've seen earlier, 18 is a circle plus eight. So let me just draw that here, that's 10 plus 8. Remember? 10 plus 8 equals 18. So the circle here stands for 10. So 18 is 10 plus 8 ones equals 18. So the number 1 here is in the tens place and 8 is in the ones place. As we move ahead, you will learn about hundreds and thousands place. See you next time!